Welcome everyone, this is Razer Mjolnir with another unboxing video. This time we are going to be tearing into the Razer StarCraft II products. We've got the Razer Banshee, the Razer Spectre, and the Razer Marauder. We're going to be unboxing the Razer Marauder gaming keyboard to show you what you get when you take home one of our StarCraft II products. On the side of the box you'll find key features of the product, like our multicolored APM lighting system, one millisecond response time, and on-the-fly macro recording. Getting to your keyboard is a relatively simple affair. Just pop open your preferred end of the package and slide out the box. You'll find that we've completely encased your keyboard to protect it during its journey from our factory to your desktop. Our lightweight transparent keyboard covering mechanism has been optimized to protect from dust without compromising product visualization. Once you got the box open and all the protective packaging removed, just pull the tab and the keyboard will pop right out. As you remove the keyboard, don't forget to open the rear compartment to remove the Marauder's extra long braided cable. Playing with the box still attached may negatively affect your user experience. So besides the keyboard, what can you expect to find in the box? Included with all of our products, you'll find the master guide, the quick start guide, and our ever popular stickers, which will adhere to anything you feel that needs an extra boost of awesome. Now it's time to plug in the Razer Marauder and check out the lighting. You'll note that there's two USB cables to power the keyboard, so make sure you plug them both in. Alright, let's set the mood. Here she is, all lit up and ready to go. The Razer Marauder has three main lighting areas. The main area where the keys are located, the side glow which is located on each corner, and the underglow which reflects on the desk. Each of these lighting areas can be individually lit and controlled through the drivers. Some key features found on the Razer Marauder include on-the-fly macro recording, which allows you to record in any string of commands without ever leaving the game, gaming mode, which disables the Windows key, and the ever-popular media keys. The keys themselves have a distinct raised feel that have been optimized specifically for the playstyle of StarCraft II. The keys are also rubberized to give you that solid, planted feel on the keyboard when playing. Now let's check out the other products in the StarCraft II lineup. Here we have the Razer Banshee StarCraft II gaming headset. It's a stereo USB headset which features a detachable microphone. And again, as with all the StarCraft II products, the Banshee features three distinctive lighting areas which are controlled through the drivers. These lighting areas can be fully customized to display your APM or specific in-game alerts. Just in case you missed it, we also have a video that covers how these APM lighting features and lighting alerts work. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the link below in the description. Alright, let's get back to the Banshee. Inside the Banshee box, you'll find the Product Master Guide, the Quick Start Guide, and more Adhesive Bliss. To complete the ownage trifecta, we've got the Razer Spectre StarCraft II Gaming Mouse. This bad boy features an extremely lightweight, ambidextrous design optimized again for that micro-intensive playstyle of StarCraft II. The three lighting areas on the Spectre are the logo on the top, the Terran Rifle inspired vents located on both sides, and the underglow. The Razer Spectre also includes a 5600 DPI laser sensor, one millisecond response time, a braided cable, and an optimized left click with adjustable tension. Within the Spectre box, you've got, well, you know the drill, guides, more guides, and stickers, baby. For more info, visit razorzone.com slash sc2. Thanks for watching.